This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and this tutorial is on how to add social media buttons to your website in Shopify. So what we want to do is we want to go to the online store. So if you're, let's just say you're on the home page in Shopify, if you go to your, uh, down here you'll see online store on the left hand menu and you go to customize. This is where you're going to be able to add social media icons onto your website. So on the product pages, there are built-in buttons to allow you to share social media. So if you have an image of a product, for instance, let's just take a preview and let's go to one of the items. You can see that you can go on to that item and then you have the option to share that. And those are built into the theme. You could actually add these by coding uh, if there were some other things you want to add. But uh, these are the main ones. Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Pinterest are really the big ones for sharing uh, on your website. So if you want to go to, and you can see, uh, if you go into the product pages, uh, you'll see the enable sharing button must be enabled on this particular theme. All the themes are set up a little bit differently. So let's say you want to add social media to your home page. So let's go to the home page. And this is the Brooklyn theme we're working on. All the themes may be a little bit different. So generally, it's going to be better if you add your social media icons to the bottom of the page. And you can see I've added Facebook here. And let's look at how we did that. So if you go into your theme settings, uh, you'll see there's two tabs. One is for sections and one is for theme settings. You'll see that's where you'll find the social media on most of the themes. Some of the older themes will have them on that uh, but under theme settings, that's where you're going to usually find it now with the way things are set up. And you can see I added a Facebook URL. And all you need to do is go to your Facebook page for a Facebook business page. And that's where you would copy that URL and post it in. And the same thing with Instagram. If you wanted to add a link to your Instagram, you would just copy this link from Instagram. And it usually, you want to make sure if you have a business that you get a custom uh, custom name on your Instagram and your Facebook and your Twitter. Uh, rather than just on personal ones, sometimes the name right here will just be a number until you convert it to business and create. So this part right here where you have the actual name of your business it's called a vanity URL. And if you look up a custom name, uh, Facebook page it tells you how to get your vanity URL so if you don't have one you can look up how to get that so let's go on back to Shopify and let's take a look at um, the setup so we were just we had just copied Instagram so if we paste the Instagram uh, on here you're gonna see that this ups updates this will update with the Instagram link to your Instagram as well so when you click on these links uh, once you have saved them and you say you're previewing the site, it's going to take you to um, it's going to take you to there. So let's go ahead and just preview the site real quick. So now we're on on the preview of the site, and if we click on either one of those links, it's just going to take us to our Instagram that we put in there, and we can do that as you see. Uh, on each one you can put in Twitter, Pinterest, uh, you can put in all of these. Now I recommend you put in the ones that you're going to use the most uh, because and the reason that these are at the bottom of the page and not the top of the page is because these tend to they all have to load these icons on the top of the page and that can slow down your home page. Uh, there are ways to put them on the top of the page and a lot of themes have that built in where you can just uh, add it to the footer and the top of the page. But you see this one is at the bottom of the page which is called the footer. And on some of the themes you will actually have to go in and you'll have to uh, allow it in the footer of the page. Uh, so you may have to turn on your social media icons in the footer. Let's just take a look at a different theme and I believe where you have to where you have to allow it or possibly let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the supply theme so as an example if we go to the footer here now we're still going to see social media icons here but you may see that uh, 
you may see that when you go into the sections and you go into the footer, which is on this other tab, we click on footer, and you have to actually, in order to see the social media icons, you have to check this box. And now see how Facebook just appeared on there? So when I uncheck it, Facebook goes off. So in order to see your social media icons, you're going to have to check it on certain themes in your footer. So that's just another note. And that's how you add social media icons to your site. Now, if you want to add, a, say, an Instagram feed to your site, uh, that would have to be enabled within the theme or you could use an app. So let's go ahead and just take a look at uh, a page that has an Instagram theme. So this one right here, if we go into it, it has Instagram uh, on the bottom of the page, you'll see there's a shop from our Instagram. So in order for you to have this, you would have to have a, and then it also has uh, in the footer as well, it has your links. But if you want to have this, then what you would need to do is you would need to go in and you would need to uh, have either a theme that has Instagram built into the theme or you would have to get an app that allows you to add Instagram to your theme. And you can find apps on the App Store for that. But it's best just to look for a theme that has an Instagram feed on that. And a lot of times you can preview that within the, in the themes on the theme store. So thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites. This is Kevin King, and that's how to add uh, social media buttons to your website. You can find more of my tutorials at pinehurstwebsites.com or subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Kevin King now. Thank you.